Well, the movie industry has faced several challenges in recent years, including the pandemic and competition from streaming services. Our theater seats are being filled with the release of two blockbuster Barbie and Oppenheimer. CBS 17's Chloe Rafferty reports this weekend's crowds are expected to give the industry a major boost. It's the hot topic of the weekend. Oppenheimer mm. first, and then we're going to cleanse our palate with Barbie. Barbie and Oppenheimer, two movies with completely different styles, both released on the same day. I've always liked Barbie when I was little, and I saw a trailer, and it looked really fun. I grew up in the 90s, so obviously Barbie was big back then, so I want to see this now. I feel like everyone on the internet has been talking about it for a long time. Yeah. Some people, like this group of friends at One Triangle Movie Theater, coming to see both movies back to back. It's what fans are calling Barbenheimer. We kind of had this plan for a while. Yeah. Um, just we, for like the excitement of it, I guess. Yeah. I like the juxtaposition of like the content of both movies. Um, I thought it was really funny. It comes as a lot of movie theaters are making a comeback after the pandemic. Many of them making changes to draw people in. According to a survey from the Cinema Foundation, 37% of theaters plan to add alcohol service in the next three years. And at least half will upgrade their projectors and sound systems. 42% of theaters also plan to add recliner seats. I realized that last week and I was like, oh, what are these reclinable seats? That was new for me. <laughs> Fans flocking to those seats as more films return to the big screen, just like a movie with a happy ending. It's really exciting and honestly, it's just nice to see people out and about again yeah yeah and also like i feel like there's like kind of a sense of community too like yes definitely what other changes are some movie theaters making to get you in the door the answer is in this story on cbs17.com chloe rafferty cbs17 news